Hello YouTube and welcome to my new toy review. This time I'm showing you the oversized version of the Titans Return Brainstorm figure produced by Wei Jiang. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing their name right. They are mostly famous about producing oversized knockoff versions of uh, existing figures. And I have to tell, I think the quality of those figures is remarkably good. I I ordered uh, four of their Titans Return figures, uh, Brainstorm, Hearthead, Skullcruncher and uh, Hybro. And I'm planning to do a review of each of them. I think all of them are very good figures. The quality of the plastic is outstanding and they fixed some some issues that uh, the original figures had. and. Uh, I think that's very cool. So let's take a closer look at Brainstorm. First I want to address that his crotch section looks a little bit off-colored uh, in my camera's light. In, in real life it's not as different as it looks on camera right now so I think this looks way better. It's just the camera lighting for some reason. Uh, this part is die-cast and also his feet are die-cast uh, which is I think a pretty good idea because it gives a, a lot more stability of, for the figure and I really like it. He's obviously a knockoff of the Brainstorm figure which unfortunately I don't have but I have Blur here which is the original version of the Brainstorm figure anyway because Brainstorm is just a retool of Blur so you can see how much bigger these Vajiang figures really are. They they are quite the nice Voyager size. As someone who's a big fan of the original G1 figures, I really prefer this size because I think this way they look much better together as opposed to this small size of the original Hasbro figures. So if you like having them on your shelf together with the G1 counterpart, I think this size definitely fits them way better. Now as I mentioned, I don't have the original Brainstorm figure from Hasbro uh, and I'm not sure if it comes with one or two guns, but this version comes with two guns and I think that's a nice addition since the original G1 figure had two guns too. I'm not sure if this wing decos are stickers or not on the original one. These are painted details here so I think that looks pretty nice. Same thing with the shins. These are all painted so it's it's not a sticker. It looks very nicely. The cockpit uh, was not painted originally. The silver lining that you see here was done by me. Um, I think I prefer it this way. I think it gives a little bit more definition to it. Uh, I didn't really like the blocky dark uh, plastic that it was originally and still I would much prefer it to be orange as the ori original G1 figure was but I can't really do much about it so I just tried to give a little bit more definition with a little extra silver paint. Now this being a knockoff obviously means it doesn't come with any Autobot insignia so the one you see here was done by me and uh, I also added a little bit more silver details here on the wings just for fun. Articulation and transformation are pretty much the same as the original figure. There are countless reviews for that, so I'm not going into details uh, about it. And I really don't want to get into the whole ethical debate of justifying buying a knockoff of an existing figure or not. However, I will just do this. See how it didn't move at all and now I will just do this. See what a floppy mess this is? This alone justifies buying an, a knockoff figure for me. 
if the knockoff figure is objectively superior than the original one. Like, look at it, I barely even played with this figure because I don't really like it that much. And that's the arm. The arm is just floppy as hell. So so are the legs. And, uh, and I tried to fix it. I tried to put some nail polish in the joint there to create a little bit more friction. It didn't really work. So that's the factory setting for Hasbro. Whereas that's the factory setting for Wei Jiang. So yeah, I think Wei Jiang wins. And also another difference between the two figures is that the Hasbro figure just has a simple ball joint at the crotch. The Wei Jiang figure actually has ratchets here. So it's not that strong, but you can see that it's ratcheted. So it gives a little bit more firmness to it, but overall the joints are very well done. Very, not too tight, but just the right amount of tightness. And they are definitely not floppy, unlike the Hasbro one. The port for the Headmaster is the same as you would expect from any Titan's Return figure. And... Um, just to show you the face a little bit more closer, I think it's done very very nicely. Now the figure itself looks like this and again I painted the head to add a little bit more details. It Originally it was just blue, same kind of blue as the body. Just to give you an idea, here's the KO Titans Return Headmaster next to the original G1 Headmaster. As you can see, they are almost the same size. So actually, if you want, you can use the knockoff versions as the head for the original G1 figure. Obviously, the power level gimmick will not work with the Titans Return figures, but the figures fit very nicely into the socket here. And you can actually have your G1 figure like this. And it, it looks quite well. It stays in quite well. Obviously it's a little bit loose, but um, well, this is a cheap option if you have the body of the G1 figure but don't have the head for it because these knockoff figures are, are really cheap. I think I bought it for a lower price than I actually paid for for this blur figure. Now if you want to use the G1 head for the knockoff figure well that's going to be a problem because the G1 head has this kind of color thing going on down here and uh, that won't fit in the Titan's Return socket, so unfortunately that's not working. As far as transformation goes, it is exactly the same as the original figure's transformations, so I'm not wasting time with that. I just want to show off this uh, vehicle mode. Everything comes together very nicely, so you you don't see any holes where the panel is not meeting or anything so no imperfections anywhere this fits together very nicely holds together very nicely you have the two guns so so you can you have this option with them or i believe you can put one like this if you want to but i prefer to have them on the sides i think it looks better so, all in all, I, yeah, I really recommend you to pick this figure up. I think it's great. Uh, a little bit more added details, as I mentioned, I, I thought they were necessary. I just like it better this way. And really my only problem with it is that the cockpit is not orange. But other than that, I think it's an amazing figure.
it's one of my favorites definitely from this line I really hope Wei Jiang will create some more figures like that because I would love to see some of those deluxe figures done in Voyager size this way because I think these figures are great, I love them, but I just really wish they were a little bit bigger and this is this is making all my dreams come true. Uh, this is a great figure. So thank you for watching my review. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for more because I'm, I will try to cover all the other Weijiang oversized Titans Return figures in the future. So take care and goodbye.